Dave, can you hear me? Hey, who turned out the lights? Welcome! Well, once again, I've gone to one of the most prominent suppliers of Funko Pops here in the United Kingdom. Not literally gone, they haven't got a physical store. I think their offices might be like Birmingham area, maybe. Anyway, that's not important. I've gone to popfigures.com, their website of course, where I've bought plenty of Ace Funko Pops, a lot of sort of stickered exclusives, Grail level Pops, and vaulted stuff. You don't need me to explain about Pop Figures to you. You know what a great place it is. Right, two Pops in here, both in the Doctor Who line. Yes, I'm not going to bother saying, ooh, what line is this in, when you've already seen the intro and you would have to be from the planet Gallifrey. Nerdy joke there, sorry. Not to know what line I'm going to show you. Let's get this open. So there's one Pop in particular I wanted from Pop Figures here for my Doctor Who collection. But I got two, because there's another one that I wasn't intending to buy, at least not for the foreseeable future, but it was a pretty good price. It was cheap, because it's only really a common, and I think it's still fairly easily available around the country, around the world. But it got my price up to over the £30 mark for free postage. So I thought, well, rather than pay, what is it, £4 for postage, £3.99, whatever it is, I might as well spend another £8.50 or whatever it was and get this pop that I will no doubt want eventually for my collection anyway. Right, so usual pop figures, air pockets, air pillows there. Oh, and they sent me two bags of jelly beans. My mother will be pleased because the last time I got a pop figures delivery and I always give my mother the jelly beans. I quite like them, but she's really into them for some reason. It's free anyway. But the last time I had a Pop Figures delivery, which would have been the um, convention exclusives and the Energizer Bunny soda that um, I unboxed on this channel last week. No jelly beans. <laughs> so two packets. Maybe they realised and put an extra one in. But anyway, right, let's get going. I uh, don't know which one is which, so it uh, doesn't really matter which one I open first. Let's show you these two that are going to go in my Doctor Who collection. Ah, and we start with the one that I really wanted and I've been keeping my eye out for it for a while now. It has come in a branded Pop Figures Soft Protector. I will get it out of there, at least temporarily, just in the hope that I can minimise glare when showing you. So here is number 709 in the Pop Television line from Doctor Who, of course. This is the Vashta. Nerada or Nerada, um, should know how to pronounce that, but I'm struggling. <laughs> and it's a glow in the dark. I seem to have got a lot of glow in the dark figures lately, haven't I? And it's also, I think this is my first pop with this particular sticker on. It is a 2018 Fall Convention exclusive. That will be the shared sticker, Fall Convention, of course, otherwise known as New York City Comic Con. Really wanted this as I am familiar with the, if you can call it a character, it's a bit complicated, but basically this is like the baddie, the big bad in the episode that I've seen, which was their debut, The Impossible Planet, I think that was. And I think the Vashta Narada have turned up since, but as many of you will remember me saying in previous Doctor Who pop unboxings, I do need to catch up on a great deal of the Doctor Who stories, and that kind of leads me on to what I'm going to unbox afterwards. Right, I'll have a little look at the back here. Tenth Doctor with hand, I have the Tenth Doctor with 3D glasses. Eleventh Doctor slash Mr. Clever, uh, the Eleventh Doctor I've got is the one of him wearing a fez. Twelfth Doctor with guitar, I'm trying to steer clear of Twelfth Doctor era pops generally at the moment because that is a series, the Peter Capaldi years if you will, 
that um, I'm just completely unfamiliar with. 358 is the War Doctor. Is that the same War Doctor I've got? Yes, it is, although it's with the older Doctor Who logo slash box design. And 359, and I've got that one as well, is the 6-inch Davros. Slightly different box design to represent the new logo, which I think was a logo from either the Matt Smith or Peter Capaldi era. Um, I've seen some of the Matt Smith era, but I need to catch up on the rest, so that is like high up on my to-do list. Right, I will get Vashta Narada out, and I'll also put up some footage of him glowing in the dark. I'll do it outside the box. I put up some footage of my Iron Maiden 4-pack supposedly glowing in the dark, but it looked so crap on camera, I needn't have bothered really. Maybe that was because I'd got all the figures, all the eddies in that four pack in a protector and then they're still in box as well. But um, presumably it'll be the helmet visor or whatever you would call it, the uh, face covering that's got a glow in the dark here. But really like this, wanted this for a while as this is an episode that I've seen before. Oh, has this come with a stand? No, it hasn't. That's just my eyes deceiving me. There's no holes in his feet anyway. Yeah, so he's got like a skull sort of face, but he's dressed as someone working aboard like a spacecraft, space station sort of thing. It's been some years since I've seen the particular story, The Impossible Planet. And like I say, I think this particular alien does resurface in other episodes that I'm yet to see. He's got like a cream coloured space suit on got sort of a design on the top there that probably means something that I can't think of but I really like that I think that's a cool figure no matter whether you're a Doctor Who fan or not and I am been more of a casual fan in more recent years some years ago I'd say going back 10 15 or more years ago I was well into it I'd collect all the classic series on DVD and I'd get the newer ones on blu-ray well the Eccleston and Tennant eras anyway uh, I just stopped watching it for a while for numerous unimportant reasons really it's only now in more recent times that I'm attempting to get back up to date with it all again there we go Vasta Narada I really like that really happy to have got this finally for what I think was a pretty good price around sort of 24 25 I think well this next one was only around eight pound eight pound fifty a common pop still in the Doctor Who line but it is a character that I don't really know certainly never seen any episodes with her in it yes it is a female have you guessed yet Let's get her out of this protector it's another branded pop figures one so that's nice. And the other Doctor Who pop I'm going to show you is number 711. It's Missy. Now then, um, what I do know about Missy, I think she debuted during Matt Smith's run, I think. The 11th Doctor. I don't think she's a Capaldi era. I mean, she might have appeared again. For, in fact, she probably will have done. There'll be some proper Whovians who'll be able to tell me uh, all the specific info. But what I know about it is Missy, played by Michelle Gomez, a Scottish actress. I don't even know if she has a Scottish accent in the show. But Missy is basically the female regeneration of the Master. The Master was uh, another Time Lord from Gallifrey, but sort of like an evil version of the Doctor, if you will. Played by numerous people over the years. In more recent years, the one I'm most familiar with is the excellent John Sim Master. Missy was the first female master, so Missy there, a bit of a play on the term master, of course, would be the feminine version of a fashion. Uh, same line it shows on the back, which just seems like basically a random selection, to be honest. Like I say, this one, I think, came out around 2018, 2019. Not particularly rare or anything. It's probably one of the more cheaper pops I've ever actually picked up from pop figures, ironically. But this was one, really, that I got just to bump my order up and then get free postage. But I'm glad to have her, because I will see the episodes, the stories with her in them, eventually. She does come with a stand, but uh, she's going back in the box. I'm not going to worry about it. And here she is. She's got like a sort of old-fashioned jacket and dress type of outfit on there. Nice shade of purple. She's got one hand on her hip. She's holding an umbrella in her right hand. I wonder if that umbrella does something um, intergalactic. I would guess it probably does. She's got this sort of uh, slightly old-fashioned hair going on here, like a medium brown colour there. All tied back nice texture to the hair i think funko always do a really good job with hair on pops particularly more recent ones she's got black slightly heeled boots there very nice so missy the master it's great to get a master as he is a villain who obviously through various faces various guises 
has been in and out of the Hooniverse for decades and decades since um, I think it was probably John Pertwee's third Doctor where we first saw the Master. I think. I don't think he debuted in Patrick Troughton's era. There again, correct me if I'm wrong, please, but I think that will be the Master originally appeared in the early 70s, around the third Doctor's era. But um, Missy's back in a box there. Glad to have it, and I will see the episodes with her eventually, and I will have wanted to buy this eventually as well, so probably a good thing that I picked it up now, even though she doesn't technically fit my collection very well at the moment. Because for all I know, she could get vaulted any time and uh, her price could rock it. So Missy and the one that I was really after, Vashta Narada. Two great Doctor Who pops for the Funko Pop collection. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Doctor Who special unboxing. I want to say special thanks, as I always will and always do, to my wonderful subscribers and patrons. My Patreon link, my Facebook group link and all my Funko affiliate links. They're all down in the description text box, so please will you go and check all that good stuff out. I'm gonna go now. Gonna put Vashta Narada and Missy slash Mistress, Master, whatever, into the Pop Figures protectors here and find room for them in my Doctor Who display. And I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Funko Pop unboxing Cheers, everyone. See ya! <coughs> oh, excuse me. Go on, again, you dirty fucker. What a clever, <laughs> what a fucking rotter. <laughs> well, that's it for tonight. I'll be seeing you soon. I hope I won't be seeing you again. From me, though, good night.